In this video, I'm gonna show you the reason why it doesn't matter what level you are on. Whether you are a beginner or somebody on a similar level to me, you should always, always, always have your ear to the ground and be looking at what successful people are doing. Today I'm going to show you a business called Karma Yoga Shop. These guys are a brilliant example of this because they use a strategy I have never seen before, I have never considered before, and I cannot wait to implement into one of my own brands. So these guys, in their own words, they evolved from dropshipping to a premier brand in August 2021. The site age is seven years. There's a big confliction, a big talking point in the dropshipping space is, is it sustainable? Is it very profitable? And a lot of people forget that dropshipping in many cases should be a proof of concept. You should use dropshipping as a way, as a proof of concept. What I mean by this is that you should use it as a very quick and cost efficient way to start a business and test an idea. Once you've tested the idea, once you've validated that it works, i.e. it's profitable, you should then progress into a quote unquote, or at least what these guys call a premier brand, basically a company that private labels its products and keeps a stock of product in the local country in which they are predominantly selling to, i.e. if the majority of your customers are in the UK, you should keep private labeled stock in the UK. There's a whole plethora word of the day. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you should do this. Benefits, a whole bunch of benefits why you should do this. Number one is profitability. Dropshipping profit margins are not great. When you're buying one unit at a time versus a thousand units at a time, your unit cost is going to be significantly more expensive. So the second you have a proof of concept and you know you can sell a product consistently and profitably for a considerable amount of time, you should then jump ship or progress into sourcing that product in a bulk quantity. So we have Karma Yoga Shop. The monthly profit is approximately $13,000. This is not just a typical drop shipping pump and dump business. This is a legitimate business that's been providing the owner for a significant income for a considerable amount of time. We can look at their revenue and expenses for the past 12 months. We can see it's very consistent, which is the sign of a very healthy business. If anything, there's been a slow and steady and gradual average um, in profit and revenue. Um, so for a snapshot for the past 12 months, $1.5 million with an annual profit of $150,000, a profit margin of 11%. When I show you the products, I think you're going to be very, very surprised. Hey, sorry to interrupt your video. I'll be super, super quick on this, 20 to 30 seconds of your time. I just wanna make you aware of this. So this is an ebook that I put together myself. It's a 12 month supply of 127 vetted winning product ideas that are working right now. The products separated by time of year, so whether you pick this up now, in three months time, six months time, nine months time, you'll have a list of proven products that are going to work because they are backed by data. It's 100% free, it's an instant download as well. There's no dodgy funnel or videos you have to watch. Stick your name in, stick your email address in, and it'll be in your inbox in the next 30 seconds. To grab a copy of this, check out the top link in the video description below, thanks. One of the things you may have noticed from the beginning when I mentioned was the starting bid point of three quarters of a million dollars, even though the monthly profit is $12,000. The way you value your business is approximately 18 months of what the monthly profit is, which would indicate a highly inflated starting bid price. However, this is why you should always check the about the business, the key highlights. The business included in the sale of the company's inventory stock valued at 330,000 euros. So what does it take to run a business of this size? Shipping is $10,000, marketing is $30,000, warehousing is $11,000, platform fees, as it says, um, and then team, they have a team, they have probably some virtual assistances helping with the management of this business. If we jump onto their Facebook page um, and we go to about, and we go to page transparency, if you wanna see any particular page and see if they're running ads on Facebook, go to page transparency, transparency page transparency go to see or click go to ads library and it's going to take you to their profile it's not a profile but their section their whatever on the facebook ads library and you can see all of the facebook ads in which they are running or have ran in the past for i believe i'm not sure what the time frame is um let's go to the bottom they're still going so still a significant amount this is something that you will see in so it goes as far back as september 14th there'll be more than that something that you see in every 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 successful business is 
the sheer amount of different ad creatives. You will never see anything less than like five or 10 up here. Typically it's 50 plus, if not 100 plus. Some key kind of consistencies, we can see the majority of them are indeed video ad creatives. Um, they're using predominantly the first two lines, give or take. I mean, I don't speak French, but just having a quick scan through to me, it looks like all of these in fact could be the same text so it could be a case in which they've split tested things to death this one's different of course perhaps this is some kind of promotion but it could be a case in which they've split tested split tested split tested found what works and then they're sticking with the same primary text for all of the ad creatives even though to me it looks like they're advertising different source of products if we have a look at this ad creative here, first thing to point out is the logo on the product. If you want to separate yourself apart from 99% of all other dropshipping ad creatives, get a couple of samples with your logo on and use that to film your content. The biggest hurdle you will have to overcome as an advertiser, as a dropshipper on Facebook is trust. People will naturally have their guard up. They'll naturally be hesitant. Um, about shopping with you because they've never seen you before. They've probably bought something from a previous store before and it's not arrived. Naturally, they're gonna be vigilant about shopping with you. If you have your logo on your product, instantly you've set yourself apart from 99% of other stores and you look so much more professional. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. This is their homepage. It's been translated into English natively. It is indeed in French. And let's have a look at their products. So I can tell you that I sold this I sold this and I sold this. This is the same product but different variation. I pretty much sold like 80% of the products you see here. I didn't sell that. Uh, did I sell that? I think I sold this back in 2016. And here's a store in 2023 selling over a million dollars worth of these products. So anybody who says anything about saturation, majority of the time doesn't know what they're talking about. Saturation, yes, can exist, but only in very rare circumstances in my opinion. For a product to truly be saturated to the point where everybody within a niche already has the product or already seen the product in the entire globe, I can't think of anything that comes to mind. There's always another country or always another ad creative or always another ad variation or there's always new people in that niche looking for that product. A great example of this is the pet niches. It's the stereotypical example. People are so quick to jump on the bandwagon and say saturated, saturated, saturated. Saturation in a niche. There are millions, literally millions of dogs and cats that are adopted on a yearly basis across the globe. That is over a million people that need everything, that have previously not owned a pet and now own a pet and therefore they need a dog bowl, they need a jacket, they need a toy, they need a lead, they need all of these things which they otherwise didn't have. And they are new people in the market refreshing it's an evergreen niche there's always new people basically looking for a product the strategy that i'm super excited to show you about for these guys if we bring up our koala inspector that doesn't want to work come on come on come on the strategy that i'm super excited to show you i'm going to need my koala inspector for this i'm going to go to products go to bestsellers it is this kys so that's obviously karma yoga shop translated to english and privilege Basically, this is a subscription for 30 euros every single month to be part of the club. Being a member of this club gets you free delivery on all of your orders. It gets you a 20% discount on everything. It gets you an online academy of training courses and it gets you private access to a Facebook group. This is absolutely brilliant. And in the seven years of dropshipping, I have never ever seen this strategy before or thought to adopt this strategy before and it's something i will 100 percent be adopting in 2024 it's a way to tie your customers into you so they keep coming back and buying the same products it's a way of having a consistent and pretty much guaranteed income on a monthly basis you know what's coming in through the door which allows you to cash flow things a lot easier it allows you to trial new products and test the market with new products inside your Facebook group in a very soft manner. And what I mean by that is that you're not ramming it down people's throats. If somebody's in part of a privilege, a community, it allows you to be somewhat of a leader in that community, talk about certain products, see what kind of reactions people inside the group give it and whether people actually want to buy it. If the feedback is positive, you can then invest in ad creatives and start running ads for it. So you can test the waters before you actually test in any sort of paid marketing route. 
You also have a series of training courses. So this is most likely going to be yoga related, which keeps people paying the subscription. And whilst they're paying the subscription, they're going to take advantages of all the bonuses that come with it. So it ties them into, like I've mentioned, constantly coming back and buying new products from you. And what I'm guessing they're also doing, if they're smart, they will also have a referral program as well, affiliation. So anybody who is part of that privilege program, give them the opportunity to then tell their friends about it say hey I'm part of this awesome privileged Facebook group where they talk about secrets and training programs for yoga and how to be spiritual and be really mentally resilient and strong and that sort of thing you've got to be part of it if you use my link I get some commission you get a discount that sort of thing and then not only are they growing the business online with social media and paid ads they're also using their existing customer base to grow their business as well a stranger telling you to buy something is nowhere near as powerful as a friend telling you to buy something you've probably done it yourself put it in a whatsapp group or put it in a facebook group asking for recommendations from people who you trust because then they then carry that reputation this is also a brilliant reason why you should choose a niche that you too have an interest in something that you can teach people on something that you can post content on something that you can hold a conversation with somebody on inside the niche if i was to create a business like this selling hair curlers and i started a facebook group the people joining that group the people buying those products if i was to go on camera or talk in that group about hair curlers people wouldn't care what i had to say about hair curlers because i clearly don't use them having an interest in the niche that you are building a business around is worth its weight in gold it pays dividends in the future and with that being said guys that is it for today's video before you leave though if you're still watching i have a special gift for you it is 100 free so if you're still watching my videos this far in um, and all the way through then the chances are that you quite like my content and the chances are you're quite serious about dropshipping as well and you genuinely want to make or build a successful dropshipping business to replace your current income or to give you more freedoms or to get that new car or pay off that debts whatever it may be if you like the idea of working one-to-one -one with me and I can help you personally do that, then we need to schedule a date and time to have a chat and see if I can be the person to help you do that. If that sounds good and you like the idea of working with me on a one-to-one -one basis, what you need to do is just below this YouTube video in the video description, click this more button and at the very but bottom here, you'll see the secret link and just go ahead and click that. The reason why I'm waiting until the end of the video and I've hidden it at the bottom of the description is to tell the truth, I don't want every man and his dog booking in a call with me. It's going to waste my time. I only want to work with people who are serious about starting a legitimate, sustainable, profitable dropshipping business that can genuinely change their lives for the better. If that is you, head over to this page. It takes two minutes to fill out the questions. It's basically questions about where you are now, where you want to be in two to three months time. And if I can help you get to that point then you can choose a date and time that I've set to the side in my calendar and we'll jump on a call 30 minutes have a friendly chat and see what's what see if I can be the person to help you achieve that goal thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one